Okay, my peeps, today we are going to show you how to disconnect or plug off the central tire inflation system on a M923A2. Tori here is going to show us how to do that. Biggest problem with this is why we plug these off is because they do tend to leak um, quite frequently, um, which will bog down your truck um, as far as the air pressure and whatnot throughout the whole system. You can see right there is where the air is coming out. Pull the drive cap off. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Yum. Yeah. Yummy yum. Like this truck needs some seals. Okay. Basically, bust that piece right off is what you typically do. Just flush with the flange here as you can, so that gasket will seal. Go grab gasket. So when putting these back on. To make sure that gasket is covering where that hole was. Also the same with the cap. So the hole is right there or right there. Just take and rotate that until that's covering the hole. And obviously we would be rebuilding this. We would yeah. be putting new seals in it. But this is just a quick little guide of showing you how to do it. As you can see, he rotated it. Basically, he notched everything back into place. And that will seal off the front end for your central tire inflation. Tire inflation, we can just take all this stuff off and plug uh, up that plug right there. Pretty simple to do. And we'll show you that here in a second. Okay, okay, so as you can see, he's removed the central tire inflation and he's getting ready to remove the tire plate. What are you removing here? Tire removing tire so the fitting the fitting right there to put in the plug. There's the fitting that you would pull out. And there is the piece, the plug that you're going to put into that spot. And that's all it takes. You have view up in here. Oh, if I can do a, a, a good camera angle. Oh, pretty crappy this. Oh, anywho, you'll see it right up underneath there somewhere. All right. That's how you do the rear central tire inflation. Okay, so that's not the end of it. There's still a couple things that we've got to do. Corey, what do we got to do here? So there's a T right in here on the tank that you're gonna have to remove. And this is what feeds the whole central tire inflation system, the air. So if you don't remove that, then you're still gonna be getting air going to the hubs. And then you're gonna be basically putting that valve right there this one on the tank itself. So you're removing 
all this stuff right here. All right, let's see it. Let's right see right it. Here. And everything is going to be removed along with the wiring. And then you're putting this valve straight on the tank right here. So you're just removing this, all that. So you don't need that for the central tire anymore. So this is what I pulled off for the central tire, which is, or was, right on this tank. As you can see, that valve is just directly to the tank now. And just remove that completely. And that will cut off the air going to your hubs and to the cab.